Hello everybody, welcome back to Tales Mods Season 3. Last episode we did the Command and Conquer weapons pack, it was pretty cool, pretty fun. Now we're back on uh, Cap Position and we're going back to a ship mod created this time by Styles RJ. This is the Scrin Planetary Assault Carrier. Um, let's have a look at it, shall we? Ooh, we're missing a thumbnail. Don't know if that's... Due to the mods I've installed, or there just isn't one. Tisk tisk tisk. Anyway, let's have a look at it. The Foreman's Revenge. Um, we'll uh, hide the rooms for you first. There you go. I have a little good look at that. And this is always the fun part. Let's see if we can find out pieces from other ships. I'm definitely seeing a good amount of Lanius stuff, namely the spikes on both ends. This is probably from a Zoltan ship. Uh, I think that's pretty much it. Maybe this is from Federation Federation Cruiser. Not entirely sure, but anyway. Not important. Pretty dark purple ship. Um, anyway, a little bit of a story to this one. Let's have a look at it. Or more importantly, I'll have a redo of it and you can decide for yourself then. Anyway, after the Third Tiberian War, the Foreman retreated into the Threshold Tower and back to their homeworld along with the Traveler 59 cult leader. I remember that from Command and Conquer Tiberium Wars, yes. Together they commandeered a screen planetary assault carrier and began modifying it for interstellar travel to escape their superiors, whom they disobeyed when they abandoned the mining operation. In their escape, though, they activate a singularity generator and somehow ended up crossing paths with the allied Chrono Division and their ship the Legionnaire, with a link to it. A fight ensued between a fight ensued between their two ships and the foreman won't do what? A fight ensued between their two ships and the Foreman won. Ah, won. So I said, won't. What the fudge? The Foreman won due to the fact he had fighters and the Allies had no shields. And the Soviets dropped in to say hello with... Alright, so now you're just whacking everything together. I thought this would have been a bit of a more held together story. But whatever, right? From their own ship, the Burrier. I'm guessing these are all links to ships. Um... Because you'll have links. Will they retreat to space station travel 59 might control the crew, turning them into cultists? However, they know that the station was run by none other than Yuri Prime, yet taking the Pythia, which is another ship I'm guessing, to conquer the galaxy in the station was to be his throne room. That it was discovered at Traveler 59 with his father somehow. Yay! This is getting weirder and weirder. Anyway, uh, enough about story then, because. Blech. Um. I've noticed something special here. Um, yeah, you, the game's UI can't handle more than three drones on a ship or a ship without a weapon system at the start. Should affect the game unless you play with hotkeys, as how the drones don't respond to them. Okay. The UI also means that powering up or down life support may require hotkeys if you don't want to release a drone or something. Okay, that's always unfortunate. Um. I remember seeing something about the weapons room itself. Um, where did I read about that? You only get one weapon slot when you do end up buying weapons. Uh, where did I see the thing about the weapons room though? Yeah, here it is. Uh, the ship has artillery. Um, it also stacks up with the weapons room, so if it gets damaged, one might not be able to be repaired. Which I find odd, because looking at the room layouts above where it also shows where new systems goes, there's still a room left. So why not just stick artillery in there? Anyway, um, <clears throat> on to the ship itself, I guess. Let's have a look at what we get, right? So we get six drone slots. Uh, I'm not a fan of using hotkeys. This is weird because for something you have to use them, for other things you apparently can't use them. Weird stuff, whatever. Um, a little bit faster combat drone, slightly greater chance of causing fires. Okay, we get two of those, we get a drone recover arm, which is nice, but is not to be relied on for the entire thing. I mean, drones can now be destroyed and whatnot. Um, combine that with the chance of finding a, an anti-combat drone, then we're really in a bit of a bind. And the FTL Recharge Booster powers up 
30% faster, enables faster hypertrace travel. Yes, we know about that from Captain's Edition. Um, I think we just get things started. I will be playing this on... Mm, let's do normal, I guess. Alright. Um, start off with an interesting crew. Um, Alright, I'm going to check my recording and then we're going to get this thing kicked off. Alright, let's go. Free drone part, cool. Alright, so we can power up everything, that's nice. Um, one thing I'm wondering about, can we upgrade drone control further than 8? No. I'd say... Change it. I mean, if you got 6 freaking drone slots, and only 8 power maximum... Hmm. That would be something I would change personally. More drone parts. Wondering whether we should keep those for ourselves. Alright, first bit of combat. Um, we're gonna get boarded. Now here's the thing. Ooh, they look like actual units from the game. Cool. Alright, we're sending you to there. See, the problem I have with having nothing but drones is it's unguided fire. I mean, yes, they fire quicker than normal weapons, but if they don't hit what you want them to hit, you're going to end up taking a lot of damage in the process. All right. Takes care of those. So we can buy weapons, but we only get one slot. I'm guessing that's going to cause some issues as well, if I'm not mistaken. Like the box being all weirded out. Now, we also have to deal with the fact that we do have a drone recovery arm, but thanks to AE, drones can be shot down. And that's a little less ideal. Um, you know, we are a drone ship, so yeah, we'll accept that. Um, then there's the fact of anti-drones. Hmm. Um, civilian ship flag is traitor. So I can't actually attack them. Uh, or do I? Uh, no, we do not. No, we do not. Um, I was thinking about the augments that allow piracy, and we do not have any of those. Um, ignore the station. We want to keep our drone parts for ourselves. Thank you kindly. Sure. Okay, reactor upgrade. It's always handy. Would like to get shields up though. Um, nah. That never ends up properly. Besides, it's a 50-50 uh, shot no matter what you pick. Drone destroyer turrets. Alright, well we're getting a lot of drones in. That's something. Gonna send out the two normal ones. Focus B main bad, I'll probably try and get that up as well. I mean... Combat drones plus a drone recovery arm is a really, really potent combination. As far as taking care of enemy ships. The problem is you need good defense to go along with it. Um, reason for that being probably quite obvious. Um, there's a good chance that weapons will never be targeted and which means you're at the full brunt of their offensive capabilities for the entire fight as well. But I'm not going to go to the quest, I'm going to keep the drone parts. Thank you very much, sir. Should have upgraded shields while I was at it. Uh, 
Uh, it's only nine scrap, sure, do it. Central median. Um, okay. Yeah. Sure. And with our drone recovery arm, we should be able to get them back as well. If I'm not mistaken. There's another drone for us. Jeez. What's up with the game being this kind to us? Huh? Alright, so you're probably gonna run, which is a, again, I don't need to tell you about a big, big issue. Um, if you don't hit enough systems, there's a good chance the ship is just gonna make a run for it. We took down a missile launcher, which surprises me, frankly. Alright, we've got the crew on the run. And you seem to be causing fires. That's good. They'd get a missile off. And we're already past the point where we could hit or miss. Otherwise I would have changed some things. We did get some fuel, which is nice. <coughs> she does look, uh... This is supposed to be blue. I suppose a lot of custom interior images went into this, which isn't good. It means there's some uh, good amount of time and effort. Put, whoa, you're big. Well, at least you won't run. Immediately after arriving in the system, your victim shows a small NG ship, fired bound by one of your own station. The message is angel present, fellow NG infected with personality stuff. She's now starts targeting you. Cutting links with. Yep. Now. We can't do anything here. That's a pretty sizable hack, if you're asking me. Um, I can get the simple turret out of blast enemy combat drones with swarm missiles. Yeah, okay, let's do it. Means we at least won't have to worry about getting hit ourselves. I could send out drones, but considering the fact that it probably will be shot down fairly quickly, I don't see the point of it. We're going to jump. Uh, they're here. We'll wait a bit before we go to the store, even though we want our, uh, we are again out of fuel. And our shield, our engines are still, uh, no, our engines, no, it's good. All right, we're good. Um, they are running because we are out of fuel, in case you were wondering. Sec. All right. So fires are plenty, and it doesn't look like anyone's going to be doing anything about it. Um. So they're not starting fires inside the ship without pressing micro missiles. Mm, I could use this. Though we are at... Yeah, they got missiles, so... Probably wouldn't be the smartest course of action, huh? Alright. I got a good amount of fuel out of that. We should be safe. Let's try out a fancier drone like the. L Actually, we can't. We have to use these in order to at least take down a. the clone bay. And by that point, their health will probably be down to the dumps. Ah, uh, let's just get on with it. See? Not a single shot. Ooh, two shots at the same time on weapons. Alright. The game can understand you and will try to make sure that you look like a doof at every possible intersection. 
Okay, so let's see how this actually looks. Ooh, yeah. Hmm. Anyway, what do we have? My control, back of battery, cloaking. We'll buy the fuel, and I think we're going to leave it at that. Um... Means we can get our destroyer drone up. It only fires at enemy drones, right? Yeah. Well, it's something at least. I mean, let's carry on. If we get one more, we can get that light FM up as well. Uh, yeah, gladly trade. So, what was the deal with this thing again? I can't recall. Um. Okay, range crew member refuses and halting. Yeah, okay, yeah, we got some free stuff with four fuel. Right, next drone upgrade is 60. That's a bit of a distance away from us, isn't it? Pick up your loyal drones. See? Knew it. Yeah, that auction. Ah, there. Oh, there we go. So yeah, you can wreck ships apart real quickly, but it all depends on what your drones are actually targeting. <laughs> all right, good amount of scrap. Let's yeah, let's get it done. Means we can get the light FM out. Although I'd rather get the focus beam, which will require another upgrade. Hmm. Ah, this is where we can see the... I guess if I find out anyone here, I'm guessing you're going to be seeing these images as well. I hate to do this if I'm right, but I want to test test the theory. No, actually... Ah, but you don't see them unless you can see all... How does that work? we got a slug so we can check it out. Yep. Alright. So if I send you here, that disappears. But if I send you in here... You'll see it here as well. Yeah. Alright. Let's just go. Uh, the patrol perimeter. Gun lovers retreat. Sounds like a pirate sector to me. So it's probably the probably the street value. Da, 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 da. Maybe we can even start to Oh, watch out for the pirates. Yes, indeed. Uh, yeah, send out some more beam drones. Free scrap and all that jazz. Because we do get the uh, thing. <coughs> Alright. Um. Yeah, let's send you out as well. The fires aren't going to help all that much, but um, you do get one system damage for it as well. With their shields down, I don't think they're going to last too much longer. And there goes one of my drones. Yep. We knew it could happen. It was only a matter of time. And I'm glad it stopped the missile for it. AD is our goal then, huh? I think once we get that, we will be sitting pretty for quite a while as far as weapons goes. Thought I'd already stepped to the next sector and was like, what? Alright, let's get a move on. Get our drones back. We have the mining side, a few drone wrecks float nearby. Locus obviously did not take to your attempt to plug their natural resources too kindly. Okay. See how it is, yo. This is not going to be very good for us, but um, with a bit of luck, it will be devastating for them as well, right? Yep. 
They already have a fire in their weapons room. The drone got shot by an ion. Nothing out of the ordinary there, I guess. And my drone got shot again. I seem to. Yeah, now that one got shot. Jeez. And destroyed. See, drone recovery arm is nice, but do keep in mind it's not a guarantee that you will get all of your drones back all the time. Mm, it might be smarter for us to just take a hike on this one. We'll see. We are still dealing damage, though. Um, yes, I will sell that, though. In case we ever get to finding a... Alright, more... People wanting to get killed. Send out the drones! That's annoying. There goes two of them. Probably repair oxygen, huh? Um, send out a focus beam. Because you can pierce through the one shield layer, and that was a brilliant shot. So, as long as our shields don't get hit, we should be fine. We're spoiled for choice when it comes down to our drones. Alright, let's do it. <coughs> cool. So we can get two Storm Riders and a Focus Beam up. That's probably going to do a lot of people in pretty darn quickly. And we only need one shield layer here anyway. <coughs> Sync might not always be ideal, but... Now we just need to find a defense drone, and everything will be hunky dory. The um, five fuel, I kind of have to take that. Yep. Besides, that missile flak was probably raring to go. All right, one more bit of fuel there it means we can two, four, seven for drones. And we got one, two, three, four, five, six. All right. Well, that's probably going to be fine. Alright. There's no real reason to wait on this. I mean, come on, people. <laughs> the game knows, man. Nothing else needs to be said. The game knows. So I think I'm just going to send out the focus beam instead. At least until we can do something about the hacking. You can survive, drone! Nope. Because it's mine. Alright, so now these two then. Um, maybe not. No one's interested in targeting hacking, huh? Is one going to survive? No, because it's mine. Uh, how many drone parts did I waste here? Oh, that one's going to get destroyed too. Yep, there it goes. Man, what a waste. That's two times I got hacked, two times on drone control. <laughs> Usually they go for piloting, or shields, or engines. Nope. Alright, well, 
There's a chance one of my drones is going to get shot down here as well. Um, but in theory, we should be fine. Though it seems like a lot of my drones do like hanging around the front of this weapon. Alright, we're done. Hmm. Still got a long way to go. Not a lot of time to do it in. Uh, we'll be fine because we can do this jump. I thought I would have gone like that, but nope. We're gonna think we're gonna be good. Let me guess. It's a given. It can't be altered. This could mean extra crew, and would mean that I would get my drones back before they get another chance to hack. Yep, I'm doing it. Jetson slaves toward Drew in a pod, jumps away, which build has been saved, blah, blah, blah. Sure, welcome aboard. We'll put you on doors, I think. Alright, uh, let's get all the power we need to power up all of our drones. Or at least most of it. We could go to the store, but I don't think we get the time. If I jump here, I'll move to here. If I jump here, I'll move to here. I eh, could, but do I have stuff to sell? I don't think so. I got a cock tree, but that can wait. I suppose it would be a valid thing to put in our one slot. Point is using dirty weapons. Well, we're using drones, so... Yeah. Um... I mean, once you're... And you're already... Done, huh? Well, that sucks for you, doesn't it? Goodbye. Alright, that means we shouldn't have to compromise at all. I might even have bought one too many. We need seven, right? One, two, three, four, five. Wait, ugh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. All right, I'll put one in there for now then. Uh, attack and escape naturally. Let me guess. Let me guess. Let me guess. Nope, it's sensors. Bad choice. I suppose if I do find a ship that doesn't have a, any potential means of hurting me, and then I would still send out the light FM drone. But, um... Nope. Cool. Rebel Space Tau Setai. Or Keddy, or whatever. Alright, well, let's head on to there. That means bring us the furthest away from the rebels, because once again, we're out of fuel. Hey, can we hang out until someone comes and help us? Because, you know, we're kind of in the same spot as you guys. That's it? One missed of seven fuel? Wow. See, that bug is still in there. Which sucks. I mean, either don't say that we did the trade, or at least give us the resources for doing the trade. You're kind of being a jerk right now, the way you're doing that. And I guess I'll have to make note of it. No fuel, so you're dead. Advanced targeting computer. Thanks! That's gonna be brilliant for that weapon we don't have. 
Well, we do have the weapon already. We're probably going to be using the cockatrice if I ever end up buying weapons. If I ever end up buying weapons. And we got a runner. Uh, it's the wrong drone, but it won't matter. Uh, ba -ba -ba. Okay, go back. Fuel. Fuel. You arrive at the mining fleet. Oh, here we go again. It's covered in remains of a ship embedded into an asteroid. So that's some functional missiles. All right. We got no missile defense, or in this case, asteroid defense, but that's okay. See if we can find some more stuff. Power up the weapons, yep. Uh, big missile launcher. But he can't dodge. Which will be his downfall. but it can fire through shields. I mean, if it can start some proper fires, then it will still be a valid thing to use, but... Yeah, they're powering up there, repairing their weapons already again. Can't wait. We have to destroy it. There are things looking down there, anyway. Uh, yeah. Now we get a store. Cool. Uh, what would I like? Well, cloaking would be nice. And a drone. Defense drone scrambler. Uh, mind control. Scatter drone. Mine layer. Heavy defense. Well, it's missile defense. And it's only one power. Alright. Um, wait, shouldn't this give me blue options for doing those jumps? Why did I not take those at any time? I feel kind of like an idiot right now. Um, could go with mind control, but I don't think I will. Instead, I'll just repair a bit. Already go to 100 on this one? Yeah. Alright, so drones are at its full, which kind of sucks, but that's the way it is, I guess. Sure, small bomb. Well, not a bad weapon. Let's go to the next store, see what we can pick up there. If that one has a defense scrambler, I'm going to be pissed. It doesn't. I remember there's a normal defense drone. Obviously. Alright, you get out there, 24. Uh, will I change them? You take two, but you reload in one second, which makes you better. Now that there's a 25 scrap loss then. But hey, you know, sometimes it happens. <coughs> uh, body could be vital, subspace can don't give into power demands. If you're only sending over one dude, we guess we will fight you then. Okay. There don't seem to be any issues. It's kind of weird that nobody's... Oh, they can't repair. Uh, okay. That explains a lot more then. So let's see what the hell is going on over there, huh? Alright, you got your fires. 
We will not accept surrender. That's what we were waiting for. Okay, all of you stop. Um, well, I'm guessing they're going to be blown up when this thing goes out. Really? Okay. <laughs> All right. That means we could do Storm Rider, Storm Rider, Focus Beam, Defense. No, we can't even get the defense. This is weird. It doesn't work very well. <coughs> Why can't drones be bigger? All right. Well, we don't have dr enemy drones to deal with, so it's pointless to send out the other one. It wouldn't cost us anything, but, you know. We're getting boarded again. That's annoying. I hope you realize that. Seeing how we might lose sensors, I think we're just going to send you in there for a little while, and then you can leave. Although I could just kill you off. Which would probably be better long-term for you. Despite the interference caused by ships and weapon fire, you finally managed to establish Connolly with the local Federation base. We read your free assets as you can see, we got our hands full there. So the major situation takes you some luck and continue the engagement on your own. Because I don't know why, but it seems like most of the time the ASB just doesn't do too much for you anyway. I'm gonna keep you on doors because I'm pretty sure we're gonna get boarded again. Where's my focus drone at anyway? It's doing things, okay. A lot of shots coming in. Told you we were gonna get boarded again. I'm not gonna get shot at again, though, so I'm gonna send you in here briefly and you can go. See, the thing now is, I don't have to worry about what's going on on the right, I just need to keep a lookout on these three, and as long as nothing goes in the red there, I'm pretty much good. Alright, with that ship down, we're gonna try and keep our crew alive. That has been given an upgrade, so I'm pretty sure that's going to hold out until the air runs out. And we are done. Yeah, sure, I do all the things to keep you healthy, and then you go walk into a room with no oxygen in Brilliant move, James, or Atride. You know what? I don't even care. You are going to be named Steve. There you go, Steve. That's going to be a lot easier to remember. Won't it, Steve? Of course it will. The dirty den. Ah, oh, yeah, getting it on. So I'm not going there. There might be kids watching. I tried to merge kids and children, which ended up with being like kindred. Hmm. Our fuel is uh, still at an all-time low, so. Really? I got my quest here already. Well, that's easy. Sometimes you say the drones are the one thing you can really trust. Maybe they are right. Shall we kind of quickly some of those robots into these little parts? Let's move on. And there goes the fuel again. Seems to be a recurring issue. Not the drones. Thank you. You're going to go to shields real soon again, though. Don't worry about it. Um, all right. And here we sit and wait. All right. Well, so far so good, right? Mm. 
Now we'll uh, take down the focus beam to bring up the defense drone. Should it be a necessity? Which it no doubtably will. The question is just how long it's going to take. Uh, yeah. Need to bring up a freaking defense drone just to stop that one missile. Uh, boy. Alright, you can go offline before you get taken down. I think that's a possibility that can happen, though. Let's have a look at things. Uh, well, there's the artillery, which I kind of would like to get. Um, let's see. Rose in one second, rose in six. Alright, so you're out. And I think we're just gonna get in the artillery. Yep. Apparently, it's a pretty good thing to have. Ah, oh, shit, where is it? Can't see it. I can't power it. So, what button is artillery then? A? No, that's selecting all crew. Ah, oh, jeez. Good job there, sports. Um, controls. First time I'm seeing this, actually. Oh, look at that. You're in a bit of a problem, are you? Um, wow, the little dot, that's old. This is an overview of nah, options menu, okay. Um, artillery, artillery, artillery. Power artillery, why? Looks like it is powered. Yeah, it is powered. Okay. Poof. Um. All right. Do we have anything else we would consider selling? I mean, a recharge booster potentially. Yeah. I'll just buy one fuel. I will jump into the nebula and ignore the store there. We don't have the scrap for it anyway. Poof, poof. You don't have any shields, which means the focus beam drone will uh, tear you a new one. Well, it looks like most of the drones. Uh, <coughs> Or yeah, new one. Do we actually wait? Do we actually need that? So, uh, seven and drones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We don't. So the artillery is a sort of beam that will strip all shields. So yeah, I think that's. And there goes Steve. Right, Steve, it was fun having you. Turns out being low on fuel and low on hull isn't enough to uh, get a positive outcome there. Which makes sense because there's no requirement to have those, so... It's all random generated gibberish, isn't it? And there goes our last bit of fuel. Brilliant. Why am I always running out of fuel? Naturally, you're running. I wouldn't have expected any other, any other way. Mm, you're not going to destroy that because you don't have the... Time for that, I think. Nope. 
Yeah, you're done running as well now. But if you're gonna offer surrender, you better make sure there's fuel in there. Three fuel. All right, let's get out of here to another nebula. Brilliant. Hmm. See, I don't get blue options here, which I think I should have. Hmm. Want to leave some drones behind to arrest the rebel fleet? Yeah. Alright, um, I'm gonna cut it here for this one. Thank you guys for watching, hope you're still enjoying the series. Feel free, show your support by commenting, liking, and or subbing if you haven't already. Oh no, no, why? Why? Why are you doing this? You take so much time and pride in making sure these are good, and then you just royally fudge this one up. It's not good. Anyway, I'll see you guys on the next episode. Bye everyone.